here at the research and development table. Most of the time it's the developing part. Well, this is where we left off last night when we gave her up for the night. And I think being as, you know, I work mostly as structural steel, you know, big heavy stuff. Not big heavy, but anything from like quarter inch to like three quarter inch. You know, that's kind of intermediate, I guess. Not big heavy. So anyways, that's what I'm used to is you know building bigger stuff like that not sheet metal work is what I'm trying to get at so I'm gonna do it the kind of as easy a way as I can figure I'm kind of kind of follow what Fitzy says and do it do it in pieces you know I'm gonna start out with this square section here do that kind of get my feet wet and get used to it and then then uh, I think I'm gonna tackle this is as a bigger piece here but first thing we got to do is this little teeny sliver over here we'll do that get that knocked out of the way then we'll do this one and then we'll do the bigger one in here but as you can see drilling those spot welds works pretty slick you know uh, I just used one of them taper bits you know you can get it hobo freight and you drill them out and then when you go to put the new piece back in you know weld the hole back up again to the new piece but anyway let's get this first little sliver thing cut here in the side and get it put in and then we'll go from there made myself a little dinky pattern we'll make her a little big and kind of trim it to fit this is 16 gauge a little heavier than what most of the guys do body work but guess what it was in the shed already so if you got it in the shed you better use it uh, I guess if it was uh, some long lost Rolls Royce or Corvette or something like that well I guess you'd probably use exactly what was in there but that ain't what this is. Anyway, that looks pretty decent there. And then we do the other one the easy way. I spent most of my life doing stuff the hard way. Let's try doing some of this the easy way.
Well, we got a grinder down. That piece came out pretty good. Um, pretty good metal that hooked to all over. This one over here, we had to do a little bit more building up on it. We'll see what happens when we grind it all down. Dress her all down and see what happens. Okay. Well, I wouldn't pass myself off of as a body man. It took me all day to do that and cut those pieces, weld them in, dress them down. It turned out all right. Results are okay. I mean, you know, I'm glad it's a floor, not a body panel. That's for sure. But you know, I fixed this little piece out here on the corner. Needed a little patching, but tomorrow we'll we'll do a little square right here and do that round over thing you know it kind of breaks over right there and then it flattens out a little bit more I'll have to look at the other side to see what it looks like you know try and copy that as best I can and then we'll then we'll do this this big piece right here uh, that'll take a kind of an angled bend looks like uh, there's another couple little bends in there you know I don't no, we're sure going to try it anyway, you know, I'm not trying to pass myself off as a body man, that's for sure, but anyways, uh, you know, we're making progress, and for a floor, uh, for a floor it'll be good, you know, seal it all up and cover it up, and it'll be a strong, good, strong floor, you know, uh, it's not trying to be an original anyway. So anyways, we're going to call her quits for the night and wrap her up. So have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, the top side's done. Uh, I'm glad I didn't start bragging about how much of a body man I am, because I'm not. But uh, sheet metal work, for certain, is completely different than structural work, that's for sure. You know, as far as heavier iron and stuff goes. But, you know, it's sealed up and and it's a floor, you know. I sure wouldn't want to try to pass this off as fixing a fender or something where somebody's going to be seeing it. But, you know, I mean, it's solid. It's not going to break. But this one right here, where it goes up here, that's all one piece. And I managed to figure out how to bend it. You know, I had a great big old bolt and clamped it in the vise and, you know, made it see things my way. But the, this wall over here on these things, if yours is bad, just get this piece or make that piece. That piece is probably cheap, I don't know. And just drill out the spot welds and take that, take this piece off and just, you know, put a new one in there. Uh, it's just, you know, I fixed mine. But, you know, I caused myself a lot of trouble by doing that, you know, or, you know, at least cut it up real high and make a nice big piece that can go in there so you're into really super good metal, you know. Uh, I mean, I was into good metal, but not like if you got, if a guy would have had new or something like that, you know, but anyway same thing over in this area here you know it looks real nice but it sure didn't weld real nice i mean it i got a good weld on it but but it wasn't boy it sure wasn't much fun welding and i've got you know the o23 wire and you know i set my machine down real low and 
all the stuff that you're supposed to do and I know I just don't have the experience like Fitzy does you know them that guy boy my hats off to that guy you know he's he's a master anyways there it is the top part before we put any paint or sealer or anything like that on it now we got to go underneath and and see what it looks like underneath there I'm sure there's going to be something to patch underneath there you know to you know tighten up what we got you know anyways and then we got a couple little spots on the cab corners all right 